everybody. <laughs> We're in the car on our way to go see Bruce Springsteen, which makes us Woo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's been um the the road to Bruce has as ever been a little fraught. Uh, this time it was work and taxes and and and, and car stereos. I don't know. Can, uh, Steph installed that herself today. Isn't that amazing? Boom. Anyway, and you would think that we'd want to talk to you about Bruce, but actually we want to talk to you about somebody else who we love who makes music. So yeah, um, we became aware that. Marshall Crenshaw is doing a Kickstarter campaign. I'm not sure, should we, I think we should explain. Marshall Crenshaw is a musician who we both love, but who's somewhat obscure, unfairly so, and because he's amazing. And I remember like, yeah, it was like one of those bonding moments with Stephanie where I'm like, nobody knows about this. This is like my jam. It's been my jam for like 30 years. Marshall has been around for forever. You may remember the song Someday, Some Way, which is super, super popular still as one of his best songs. Um, so he's running a Kickstarter campaign where he's going to basically do, if you are a Wizard Rock fan, remember the EP of the Month Club? Well, he's doing a EP every three or four months that you can subscribe to. So his Kickstarter is to get that off the ground. The catch is all of these EPs will be on vinyl. And you also can get some really cool rewards. And as someone who ran a Kickstarter campaign personally last summer and just finished one with my own tour with some friends of mine, I can honestly tell you um, Marshall Crenshaw deserves your money. He deserves it more than I deserved it. He deserves everything amazing and he needs this money to make this album and I need this album. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you like good music, please go and donate uh, $5, $10. He's got some amazing rewards that even involve like getting a guitar lesson or getting to meet him and cool stuff like that. But if you don't want to donate at, the, at that level, any little bit will help. And he is so good. He's so good. Yeah, I mean, this, the music, I can personally guarantee that the music that you will get will be amazing. I, you know, that you will more than get your money's worth Tell them this. your story. I have three artists that have proven the test of time. Well, probably more than that. But, but during a very small period, you know, as many people do when they're going through their teen years, you kind of discover uh, certain musicians and certain types of music and stuff as you go along the way. And um, this was in like disco era, 1970s. Music was awful, awful. And I discovered Elvis Costello in 1978 and was like, yes, new wave all the way, was just besotted. Then, in 1980, I had a friend of mine, whose musical taste I trust, recommend to me Bruce Springsteen. And I was like, isn't that that, that Hungry Heart dude? And he's like, yeah, but like, I just went to a concert of his and he played for like 7,000 hours, right? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll check it out. And that was the year that I discovered Bruce. One year after that, I was working in a, in a record store, which was awesome. And, um, we got a, a stack of promotional albums in, and one of them was Marshall Crenshaw's, and this uh, one gal who was a little older, a little hipper, a little cooler than me, uh, was like, this is amazing. And we, we like fought over it, over who was going to take the promotional album home, and I forget, we like did some kind of rock, paper, scissors, and I won. And I played the crap out of that album. I've loved Marshall Crenshaw since 1981, since his debut album, and he's still around making music, and he should be a lot more famous than he is, because, like, look at the other two guys. <laughs> so, you may, you might have seen Marshall Crenshaw. He played uh, Buddy Holly in La Bamba. And around. he was heavily featured oh, on the Pete Adventures of Pete and Pete. <laughs> he was in Pete and Pete. I always forget that. And he was amazing. So you probably, honestly, have heard Marshall Crenshaw. I've seen him in something, and go give him your money. We're going to... 
I don't know how we're going to do it between Bruce tickets and what, but somehow we will sell a kidney or something and give him a load of money from Thunder Road. So anyway, thanks for listening. All right. Bye guys. Bye.